we all know that advanced robotics is the next big step of mankind other than space exploration. And from the past few months, we've been seeing huge improvements in this field. Yeah, we're talking about two giant leaps, the Atlas from Boston Dynamics and the Tesla bot. Even though many people refer to the Tesla bot as a joke from its CEO Elon Musk, the company doesn't seem to think so. They're pretty serious about this project and have set a near completion date for it. At the same time, another well-known name in the robotics industry, Boston Dynamics, has been working on its own humanoid robot for more than 10 years. That's a long period compared to Tesla's sudden notification about their next undertaking. So, in today's episode, we'll be comparing these two, the Atlas from Boston Dynamics and the Tesla bot. Hey folks, welcome to the Robot Future, where we bring you the newest and best updates from the field of robotics and AI. For daily videos, please consider subscribing to our channel. So let's dig into today's stash. Tesla's venture into robotics was surprising for many. In fact, who would think about a company that sells electric cars, solar panels, and batteries that are about to build a humanoid robot? The Tesla bot, also recognized as Optimus, is schemed as a notional general-purpose humanoid robot. The company plans on bringing out the first prototype by the year 2022. Yep, that's now. Meanwhile, the Atlas robot released by Boston Dynamics resulted from a lot of years of research. This bot happens to be an agile, anthropomorphic robot that stands about 5 feet tall. Atlas is designed for a variety of research and rescue tasks. If you look back at February 2016, Boston Dynamics published a YouTube video showing off their new humanoid robot. The robot is shown performing a number of tasks that would have been very difficult for the previous generation of humanoid robots. Atlas can also do a lot of parkour if that's something that you're interested to know about that a humanoid robot can do, because who doesn't love a robot that can do parkour, right? Atlas performed its robotics calisthenics, which was formulated to illustrate the bot's flexibility and agility. Still, it was somewhat noisy due to the shuddering action of its hydraulic muscles. Videos indicated the prototypes walking over rough ground and inching along slim ridges in simulated grounds. But our Tesla bot isn't expected to do any kind of parkour tricks, but Musk has something else for you which can benefit common people. Musk implied that it could run to the grocery store for you, run other errands, but presumably it could handle any amount of tasks involving manual labor. Well, that's great news for lazy humans like us. So you guys might be thinking, other than that, what's so special with the new Tesla bot apart from serving as a common household robot? Is it like the one from the movie iRobot? Hmm, maybe what we're going to explain might seem like it a little bit. Let's see. Musk explained his vision about a slender robot with a 5 foot 8 inch frame during the event. It'll be prepared from lightweight materials so that it helps in reducing its weight to a narrow 125 pounds. That's brawn. What about brains? The bot is planned to be powered by Tesla's full self-driving computer and autopilot cameras. The Tesla bot is said to walk and interact with the environment. In addition to this, the bot will be furnished with a display through which owners can retrieve data from and interact with the robot. With these, Musk said what his proposed innovation might be able to do, what we can surmise is that the robot could perform tasks that could be made as consistent as possible, like picking items off of a shelf in an Amazon warehouse or screwing in bolts in a manufacturing facility. It's presently blurred how many domestic tasks the robot could perform. Musk also asserted that the Tesla bot will encompass roles and features that prevailing robots find impossible, like responding well to transitions and two-legged locomotion. Their bot will also use natural language processing to put up with verbal instructions. But this is great, looking at the current robot tech. Oops, we totally forgot about our Atlas. As we mentioned in the beginning, Atlas was initially designed to assist in search and rescue tasks, such as tending to a nuclear reactor during a meltdown, closing off a deep water oil spill, or working to put out a raging wildfire. And you know what? The Atlas is best when looking at the current robotic industry. And suppose Atlas proves itself in the near future at such daring feats. In that case, one of its descendants might one day be qualified to do something just as important as helping and taking care of the elderly and infants. 
The Atlas is actually a great innovation from Boston Dynamics. The company has already developed an impressive lineup of robotic beasts that was done with the help of funding from the Department of Defense, comprising of a headless robot pack mule called LS3, a gecko-like wall-climbing bot called Rise, and a four-legged bot named Cheetah, which is capable of swooping along at a speed of 29 miles per hour. Coming back to the Tesla bot, let's look into the inner concept of the bot. Elon Musk said that the company's artificial intelligence bots are planning so that they may one day be able to work on Mars, which is a vision seemingly ripped from the scenes of sci-fi movies. Y'all have seen the movie Prometheus, right? We might not reach such a stage right now, but who knows where humans might be standing 100 years from now. You can also see a piece of tiny evidence for this in Twitter, where a user asked Musk if the Tesla bots would be mass-produced and carried to the Red Planet as laborers. To which Musk replied, hopefully. Does this mean we're at the near? See, with Musk planning the Mars trip by 2024, would the Tesla bot have any role in the mission? Yep, something to ponder on. Also, don't forget to drop your views in the comment section below. Other than these, Tesla said the bot would have cameras for eyes and use its self-driving software to navigate its surroundings just like their cars. The company also noted that the robot is being proposed as a non-automotive robotic, implying that it had governed through artificial intelligence. It would have a fresh advanced neural network, a supercomputer interface concentrated on machine learning, so that's about the basic concept of the Tesla bot. Let's look into something more exciting. Many claim that the bots could go rogue, especially Elon Musk, who formally advocated that AI would be one of the biggest risks to mankind. Many took this chance to scorch him, but to do this, he had a reply. Musk states that we should be worried about AI. At the same time, what Tesla is trying to do is make helpful AI that people would love and is equivalently good. He asserted that the Tesla bots are intended to be friendly and could effortlessly steer through a world built for humans. Musk indicated that the Tesla bot could likewise operate popular system softwares like Siri or Alexa. For instance, Musk said the humanoid should be able to comprehend human commands like, please pick up that bolt and attach it to the car with that wrench, or please go to the store and get me the following groceries. Such kinds of commands. Musk seems to be confident in the Tesla bot, and he seems not to be backing out. Well, he might be right in this. From the indications about the Tesla bot he gave at the Tesla event, humans could outrun and overpower the Tesla bots as the bots are just 5 feet tall and are slender. But that's about what you should expect when considering the Atlas for household uses if they'll be utilized in such a manner in the future. Apart from these, Boston Dynamics has not created an adequate power source to power this bot. So far, the power source they're currently using is two generators. At the same time, due to this flaw, these robots are too weak, slow, or clumsy to do much. When looking at the same case for the Tesla bots, we don't have a clear idea about its power source. Maybe the bot too will be wielding the same battery as their cars. Now coming to the end of this video, we know that both these bots can't be compared more than this as both are made to be applied in different situations, but we here at Robot Future know what you guys really want to see. Well, this isn't the end of the story. More updates will arise about the bots in the coming days, and we here at Robot Future will be delivering the best of the content to you folks. Both Boston Dynamics and Tesla are pretty innovative companies in this field. So, where will the Tesla bot and Atlas end up? What are your opinions on it? Drop your views in the comment section below. That's about it for today. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content just like this one. And while you're at it, turn on post notifications so that you never miss out on any of our future uploads. Drop a like for the video if you're a massive fan of robotics and AI. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll meet again in the next one.